Our next type of representation is orgives. Now it says draw an orgive. I'll ex again explain it to you, use an example. Try and uh, draw an orgive to represent the following data. Now the data says marks obtained from 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90 and 90 to 100 and the number of students are mentioned. Now in an orgive what we have to do first is before touching the graph what we have to do is we have to uh, first make another table that is of again the marks obtained number of students and we have to find out the cumulative frequency okay I'll tell you what does this mean so first of all the marks obtained from 50 to 60 I'm just copying these down over here these are 4 these are 8 these are 12 these are 6 and these are 10 these are the marks obtained so cumulative frequencies mean that 50 to 60 the total number of students are 4 so this comes right over here just like this now the cumulative frequency of 60 to 70 means that it should have all the marks of 60 to 70 and also the marks that are lesser so that will include this 4 and the 8 this 4 and this 8 so this is equal to 4 plus 8 that is equal to 12 okay next 70 to 80 the frequency is 12 but this will again include this 12 plus this 12 also so this is going to be equal to 12 plus 12 that is equal to 24 okay next we have 80 to 90 80 to 90 the frequency is 6 but we also have to include this 24 so this is going to be 24 plus 6 this is equal to 30 and same way for the other one it is 30 plus 10 that is equal to 40 for 90 to 100 okay now we've got the cumulative frequencies and all we have to do now is represent that on the graph so first of all again we will have to mark the x-axis and the y-axis and we will have to mark the x-axis and y-axis numerically so what we have to do over here is that we know that the graph starts from 50 right so we do not need to draw it from 0 to 0 to 100 again so what we can do it again mark this sign which means that this graph graph is continued and mark this as 50 okay start the marking from here this is 60 70 80 90 and 100 now we have marked from 50 to 100 and now we know from where to where do we have to go in the, on the y-axis we have to go from 4 till 40 right so either what we can do is we can do 1 2 3 4 till 40 but that will be again very high right so what I am going to do is that I am going to take this much as 5 so let's say this is 5 this is 10 this is 15 this is 20 25 30 35 and 40 okay so now this much is equal to 5 so now all we have to do is just mark these values how do we mark values on an argument now so for that what we have to do is we have to see the low uh, the upper limit of all the of every uh, of all the class intervals we have to see the upper limit only and we mark these points Let, tell me what all points do we get if we see 60 with 60 what is what is the cumulative frequency it's 4 right the first point the second point is 70 comma what is the cumulative frequency 12 is it right 70 and 12 next is 80 comma what is the cumulative frequency 24 right for the next one we have 90 and the cumulative frequency is 30 and then 100 and 40 so what we have to do is we have to plot all these points on the graph and then join them and on 50 we have the frequency 0 that is that is also necessary on 50 what we do for 60 we have the frequency 4 but for 50 what do we do we take the frequency equal to 0 so the first point is 50 comma 0 so this is the first point right 50 comma 0 next point is 60 comma 4 so this is 60 and 4 will be somewhere over here that will be it will be just a unit less than 5 so 60 comma 4 will be here next we have 70 comma 12 so 70 is here 
10 is over here and 12 will be just a bit higher than 10 so it will be somewhere over here right next what do we have is uh, 80 comma 24 so 80 and 24 will be somewhere around 25 so this is 80 comma 25 and this is 80 comma 24 okay 80 comma 24 next we have 90 comma 30 so we have this is 30 okay and this is 90 over here so this is 90 comma 30 and we have 100 comma 40 somewhere over here right so these are the points that we get all now we have to do is just join them with a free hand so just join them as it is with a free hand and this graphical representation is called an ogive and again very simple and you know what to do if you get a discontinuous discontinuous data same thing as you did in a histogram just make it continuous by a the factor that you found out the adjustment factor find it out draw another table mark uh, change the uh, uh, the write down the adjusted uh, marks uh, adjusted class intervals and then make the graph easy enough again ogive is also a very easy thing you will again see that you know this is these are marks for free so do not make any silly mistakes in these rest these assured rest i assure you these are going to give you a full marks